What's up guys, this is the Brushman and I'm back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Russia. So to pick off where we left off last time, um, we knocked out the Prussians. So the goal of the following parts is to push on hardly and rapidly into um, the Indian subcontinent. While also making some investments into my <laughs> into my armies to make sure they actually replenish on time. Um, right, so let's take this. Take this weak navy and ship them up here, so they can at least try and fight anyone that tries to pass through this. This uh, well, that is Bandar Abbas. So that's the Strait of Hormuz. <laughs> I forget. Very relevant. Very topical. Um, yeah, looking at the, my treasury, I need to hit end turn before I have no money. Ah, uh, there go my monastery. No, my ministers, religious ministers. One thing I do need to check out, actually, because now I have a first territory in India, I need to see what my um, Russian Indian ministers actually like, and if necessary, uh, replace them, because... They... I don't know, I haven't actually... Well, obviously, I don't know how good or bad they, they might be, um, but we'll need to give them a look. But I'm pretty sure because we're an absolute monarchy, it will be quite easy to to chop and chop and change and make the necessary arrangements. One thing I definitely do need to do is recruit a full army in Moscow and take advantage of all of those um, elites that I've not yet had the opportunity. What's this fleet doing? Good. For me, I thought they were picking up an army. Yeah, that stack up in Sweden. I'm just going to let them sit. Oh, there we go. The Mughals are coming. They're mobilising. So this is why I'm probably going to end up fighting in India with a lot. So while I might have some elite stacks coming from Moscow, it will probably be more... Um, these I'll be able to and rapidly reinforce. There is unused land oh. suitable for... Oh, yeah. So, right. Let's build you. You. There could be some overlap from this with previous parts they did have a problem with not actually saving it up to date so but hopefully I'm not too far behind Kerch in Crimea good everything's growing nicely oh yeah said I was going to build a uh, build an army but instead I built fortifications This army is replenishing. They are going to move, move up threat. This army is going to move up towards Afghanistan to support. See, it's going to take them so many turns to get up there. Diplomacy. Let's give another round of oh, I thought they were gonna take it for a moment. Unfortunate. Right. Ministers. Nah, yeah, terrible. There we go. Minus one upkeep. Oh, actually let's see. Treasury, treasury. He's quite good for treasury, but then so is the guy I've got. Jughead, nope. And this guy doesn't really do anything. Mm, I'll take a four star. Let's do a bit of replenishment on these troops. Because, yeah, this is from memory, but Britain does have quite a thing for. Landing troops to try to capture Cairo. Be yeah, right now. I have four armies in theatre. So if I take this army and move them out, they're grumpy, but they'll just they'll just write a letter of complaint. Good Esfahan. When Esfahan's religious unrest finally disappears, because I do have religious schools here, I'm going to shunt him straight along the front towards Baluchistan because I don't know if I'm going to build a religious school here. Right, let's hit and turn. Because this is going to be where the 
the bulk of the next fight is going to come from. Just because the Marathas have no one to fight. All of the troops they have on the Indian continent have nowhere to go other than towards the frontier. So that's why I want to have these towns, border towns, fortify with a garrison. So normally some of my armies ahead, if they get destroyed, then I'll at least have a solid back wall to fall, down, fall back upon. One possible route for my elites in Moscow is to recruit the elites, send them through the Gulf and around to Sri Lanka and capture that, and then use that as a spring point to start landing some stacks onto the southern coasts of India, kind of split their effort north and south. Or maybe spring round to capture Sri Lanka. As I'm building up forces in Sri Lanka, um, send some forces round to Bengal and then start pushing from the east. Then it also denies um, Great Britain their Indian base as well. And if they won't make peace with me, then take their stuff. Okie dokie. There is a clamour for reform in this region due to the spreading of enlightened ideas through research not and education. Not anymore, there's not. The people can be appeased. Yes, yeah, they just have a farm in this region. Okay, let's send this army down here. Let's send this army generically up here. Let's send my raiding army up as well. Move up this army. And do I move this army out to actually engage some of these forces? Some Indian mercenaries. Hmm. Just move them down to chop them up, get them into the mix. Just do a quick aura resolve. They may swing north, but if they do, um, I should be able to catch them because I can make it back in one turn. Good, right. Oh, yeah, Kiev's got some good troops too. But, priority, General Field Marshal of the Army, and let's get two units of Household Cavalry to back him up. Oh yes, Heavy Horse Guard Artillery, two units of those. Are those special in Russia? I don't usually see those, six pounder for artillery. Could do with that, but it shouldn't be shouldn't be a game changer for now. Two hours says two twelve pound of foot artillery, and then let's get a unit of guards infantry. Let's move these guys out. And replace them with some regular units of line because I want this to be I want Minsk, Minsk to be garrisoned in case the AI decides to the uh, Austrian AI decides to spin around and attack me but yeah we can get them into the region they'll be, they'll be useful for an army and let's do a bit of economic investing Because right now, actually, with Russia, we're making we are making a rather lot of money. It's because we're pumping so much money into our economic economic structures. And by the looks of it, oh, there we go. By the looks of it, we seem to have caught up with it quite well. So my minister's going into Baghdad. Actually, I might move him out. 
Baghdad's quite happy. Traits gain, traits gain, tech advance. So, fine. No, don't do diamond. Do light infantry doctrine. So I can start recruiting light infantry. Oh no, start doing quick climb shells. I'm going to need them against India. So that's their army. Actually, very poor, very poor. Doesn't look like it'll matter very much. Right, in turn. British forces mobilising. Just need to keep an eye on whether or not they decide to deploy into the Baltic. Fortunately, people seem to be leaving me alone. At least the European great powers are. If I can break the back of the the Indian armies, that would be supremely useful. That attacking large Indian force is actually quite simple because they are just a bigger square. Dan, my regular line infantry are seem to be quite capable in combat. But then again, the oh, Swedish stack out of nowhere. But I think this is going to work out well for us because they do not have much in the way of artillery. Cool, let's fight. Uh, university that's focusing on because I'm going to have them force all the, focus all the way down to shot because that's just so god killing power from artillery against the the Indian factions because they're just going to have so many troops thrown to the mix. And regular round shot and canister just aren't going to cut it. Particularly from, um, they've just not been just not been accurate, very accurate principally. Okay, so let's have one unit capture this hill. I have one unit on this hill. I'd like to have a unit of grenadiers ready to respond. Maybe both my grenadier units to respond. I want two units in this gap. One to go right, one to go left. And I don't think one regular unit is going to fit. Oh, what a regular one regular unit will fit, but I'd rather not have just the one. Have counter horse measures. Have militia protecting my guns. Have them with counter horse as well. Then this unit of lines probably going to go on the right on the flank. Uh, group. Get my ring wreaths on the left. Get this unit of horse on the right. General in the centre. Good, knocked out a gun team already. They've got a good field of fire over this crest into the trees. Oh, charging in two by two. They're returning fire onto my infantry. They are 
charging. Good to do a bit of micro to manage my manage my artillery battery. Horse grenadier guards. They look rather cool, don't they? Engaging their battery. Yeah, we are. Foot guards, engineers. Excellent. Lots of nice elite Swedish units to chew up. Western European mercenaries. Got some line infantry coming in through the woods. Some more line infantry and a regiment of grenadier guards. They're going to be the first recipients to a set of uh, to a set of um, canister shot meetings. is going quite well. Pretty much missed that regiment quite severely. Right, so let's go to this battery and do a bit of manual targeting. In canister range? Soon. By the time they've reloaded they'll be in canister range. Sakers can't do round shot. There you go, they're about to pass into sights of my Russian infantry. Poor baggers. So many units going to open up. Three units are going to be out with it. They're within. They're within field of fire. So where's this Grenadier Guard unit? In the trees. Folks fire the Grenadiers. T 
unit of line just quick content to march straight up into the fire. Yep, that unit's going to flavor and fall, forming square for no real reason. Cavalry moving in through the woods again. If they do charge and they're going to get hit by the... Uh... So they seem to shoot that horse unit, but they're not doing anything. Red ears are forming back. Unit's going to start engaging the horse grand air guards. Oh, that's going to be devastating for them right into that horse, right into this barricade. Look at that. Devastating. Counter charge. Form line again. There you go, they retreated. Get my cavalry back. Get my inventory back into line. Get the infantry back into line. Don't charge forward. Man your guns. Come on, make sure the hand symbol. Treat to square. This horse guard crassier unit is going to get hit by. No, don't form square. Run back behind the barricade. So, he should. Focus fire the horse artillery unit. These guys aren't doing anything. This is what happens when you try and manoeuvre them as a group. Line. Let's get my cavalry in a position to threaten their infantry as they retreat. Guerrilla mercenaries, let's charge up. Let their routings come back to keep an eye on this unit of cav. Great is reloading. Great, the guards are retreating, they're not shattered. Try to get the bridge general's bodyguard on my regiment of horse.
Okay, light hussar unit. Fall back behind the barricade. See, they're charging in, but it's not going to go well for them when they hit that barricade. Counter charge. Same for this general's bodyguard. Look at that, over and over and over. Where's the general? So oh, this unit of cuirassiers is going to get it as well. Turns out this was absolutely the right decision to put these down. Wheel them round to attack the cuirassiers. Spin them round to attack the union of wine. General's bodyguard. Engineers, let's go for the engineers. Oh, here come the... Uh, Swedish reinforcements. Okay, let's push up. Wheel them right, have them go for that artillery unit that's still causing havoc. All of this left battery, round shot, and do counter battery on the unit way in the rear. That's right, second regiment of grenadiers, you better retreat, you better fall. Don't have bayonets. Let's bring out my militia, because could get into a bit of a slog fest. Actually, try to chew up some of their line infantry. No, chew up these grenadiers. No, chew up this artillery unit. Artillery unit, then grenadiers, then line infantry. Get some of my grand, get my general involved as well at this point. Look at that. If you can just knock out this unit before too many of you get taken out by 
fire from the 28th Regiment to foot. Good. Now just run off in this direction, chasing down that unit of engineers. Russian style. Hurrah! Actually have my general go for one of these units, they can wheel right. Same with them. Now let's speed up time a bit, because we're pretty much finished. Play, 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 play. Continue. That's a completely fresh infantry unit right there that can just be chewed up by this cavalry unit. Except you're tired and they're close-ish to the border but holy moly you can get a lot of kills here. as many as I'd like to have seen. Have you charged straight through them? Then when you're all amongst them... Now attack! General's unit's been eliminated. Pick the other two regiments and go. Also go for this regiment of foot, but also speed up time quite massively because it's they're probably very close to the edge of the battlefield. Well, there it is. Can they get there before my general gets in? That's the that, that's the question. I think they might. Well, they will, for sure. Not before my general gets some kills, though. Still, I will take the victory. You were a melee sort, weren't you? Right, that's quite a nice knockback of Swedish forces. I don't want to surrender the position, so I will push you back. I like having this field fortifications. Those were quite handy against all your cavalry. I think it's all the way around here just to start messing with me in the Black Sea. Oh, they retreated back over the bridge. Quite like the idea it kicks the Brits in the knackers. There is a port in this region that has not yet mm. been developed. A, it kicks the Brits in the knackers, and B, it provides another avenue for me to split the uh, Indian response. So instead of having all of their stacks on one front. Ooh, new towns emerging for days. So you move up to there. I'm not sure what direction they're going to run. You move up, because you'll probably need to engage this stack in this port. You move up to, to like here. Oh, this mountain range. Alright, Esfahan.
Okie dokie. Let's keep this full stack gunning it towards this province. They are replenishing. Take the bridge. Maybe have a peek over. But sit on the bridge, hold till that second stack comes up to reinforce. Then one will attack Lahore, one will attack Kashmir. Chance like this one will take Kashmir, because they've got the more melee focused army. This one's more. Oh, how does militia unit sneak in? Okay, so my Moscow army. Come for a form slowly creeping up. New port in Turkey, but they've already got shipyard, trading port. So I'm probably going to give them a fishery just to expand that population. Royal Academy to help offset the clamour for reform to make them a bit happier. Rightio. Cool, but looking at the time, I think that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching guys, and I will see you next time.